both in middle school catechism class and at church this time of year, it's the season for miracles. In church, it's because it's the epiphany season. Epiphany means appearing, and it celebrates Jesus appearing as God and man and savior of the world. In some ways, that is best exhibited by way of his miracles. Last week, I considered with you how difficult it would be not to hear. This week, consider with me how difficult it would be not to see. I mean, everything would be dark. And at least for those of us who have seen, if we went blind, hopefully we could still at least imagine the way things looked. Jesus once met a man for whom that wasn't true. This man was born blind. He couldn't see, and his eyes had never worked. But then Jesus, with mud and saliva, and especially an application of the work of his divine nature, Jesus made that man to see how happy he must have been. And that's a lot the way it is for you and for me. See, when you and I entered into this world, we were born blind. That means we couldn't see at all. There was no way we were ever going to see. It was awfully dark, and it would have been dark for all of eternity. But then, when you and I came to faith, for most of us, it was when we were very young and baptized, Jesus turned on the lights for us. He opened our eyes. And now we see, not only in this life, we see to get to the life to come. We see Jesus as our Savior, the one who rescued us from our transgressions, the one who conquered death for us, the one who restores us body and soul for all of eternity. Is he not a sight for sore eyes? It gets you to thinking with whom you might share the sight of Jesus Christ. Do that. Invite somebody to see Jesus with you at church, or maybe even more likely, invite someone to see Jesus with you in something like Bible information class. It's your way of saying thank you to Jesus for enabling you to see. Meantime with Jesus, have a great week.